The very first moment that I considered a diet change from my 35 years of an omnivore diet uh, was in the middle of the night in Minnesota when I was at a race. And I was up because I couldn't sleep. And I stumbled upon some footage of just basically what animals have to go through to make it to our plate. And I was super shocked. My entire life since I was a little, the earliest memories I have, I was a passionate animal lover. I mean, I had gerbils and hamsters and fish and dogs and rabbits and horses. And I, I mean, I, I would have lived at the stables if mom and dad had let me. I mean, I would get in the stalls and sleep with my horses. And I saw this footage and those animals were them. Like, who was I to take their lives for, I don't know, like a taste bud or something? I just remember feeling really empowered with the truth because of course then I went home from Minnesota and dove into many more hours of just a deep dive and understanding. After I saw that footage and I knew I was gonna change what's on my plate dramatically, <laughs> and, and so I don't remember feeling afraid or worried. Uh, people around me were, were worried that I was gonna shrivel up, <laughs> you know, and not be able to probably make it to the Olympic podium, but I've got this. And if, and if they're right, and if you can't get enough, you know, protein or nutrients, uh, then I will not go to the Olympics. It was that just obvious to me. So what happened to my body was just shy of a miracle. I mean, it was crazy. Really just the coolest transformation, transition. The, I mean, it's almost like the, just the, the, the jets turned on. <laughs> that ability to repeat my output, that ability to repeat my efforts uh, in the weight room and on the track uh, sped up so much that it, it was, it almost felt, it, it was like jet fuel.